penetration testing is a very successful industry. Every year there's more pen testers, there are more pen tests, there are more findings. Uh, there are also more successful attacks. Pen testers try to provide carefully ranked relevant findings of insecurity. Pen test findings are usually ranked by three measures of relevance. First, a good pen test team can rank their findings by their relevance to best practices. This decision is based on the pen tester's understanding of the past behavior of your industry. This ranking usually provides guidance for avoiding unnecessary expenditure. Second, a good pen test team can rank their findings by their relevance to a regulatory process. This decision is based on the pen tester's understanding of the requirements of that regulatory regime. This ranking usually provides guidance for mandatory expenditure. Third, pen test results are ultimately evaluated by the contracting organization and ranked by their relevance to that organization. This ranking provides guidance on advancing the interests of the organization. The pen test process usually becomes a business success when it finds a balance between advancing the interests of the pen testers advancing the interests of a regulatory regime and advancing the interests of the contracting organization. And if somewhere along the way people manage to avoid unnecessary expenditure then everybody is happy. But suppose that you're not happy unless you reduce successful attack. Let's consider the steps you might take while using pen tests to reduce successful attack. Step one, commit to reducing successful attack, usually reducing costs and regulatory compliance are more important than reducing successful attack. Those are good goals. But success in those goals is not the same as reducing successful attack. Reducing successful attack requires careful work, lots of it. Step two, search for pen testers that know your attack environment. You improve your chance of winning battles by understanding your attackers and their attacks. Pen testers start by knowing attacks, but they may not know your attack environment. When, in, when evaluating pen testers, ask if they manage honeypots or closely track current results from honeypots. Ask how often they update their samples of current malware. Ask them to describe recent attacks in your industry and ask them to describe the motivations of your attackers. Step three, ask the pen test team to rank their findings by relevance to your attackers. Your attackers are not driven by your interests. Your attackers are not driven by the interests of your pen testers. Your attackers are not driven by the interests of regulatory organizations. If you wish to reduce successful attack, you need to deal with the findings that are most useful to your attackers. Step four, use simple effective threat metrics in finding descriptions. Pen tests usually return a multitude of findings. Usually most pen test findings of a label that means very important. This has two benefits of the pen test industry. 
Lots of important findings make it look like the pen testers were busy and productive. After all, every finding is important to somebody. And second, if everything is very important, then the contracting group can exercise discretion over threat interpretation. It's easier to create effective defense if you use threat metrics that resist spin or misinterpretation. For example, you might use these. F. This finding indicates that the organization's systems are vulnerable to the current indiscriminate attacks. This rating demonstrates that the organization fails to achieve minimum acceptable internet security. Of course, this requires that the pen test group know the current state of indiscriminate attack. D. This finding indicates that the organization fails to detect and quickly resolve current malware. This rating demonstrates that the organization tends to become less secure over time. Of course, this requires that the pen test groups know and have access to representative declawed samples of currently deployed malware. Problems are inevitable. Compromise, hacks, security issues, well, frankly they can appear almost anywhere and any time to everybody. Swiftly detecting and properly mitigating current malware is critical to reducing your overall level of compromise. D plus <laughs> this finding indicates that the organization fails to counter and mitigate remote targeted attack. If you can afford a pen test then you will be targeted for attack and not just by the pen testers. The government attackers and the crypto ransomware groups do a good job of hitting everybody with resources or influence. If an organization can't resist remote targeted attack, then they're now or soon will be compromised. The C metric is for findings that indicate that the organization fails to counter and mitigate local targeted attack. Local attacks are the ones that require the presence of a local human attacker. Local attacks have two important pre-existing mitigations. A local, attacker can, a local attacker can only be one place at a time. Remote attackers can attack thousands or even millions of targets simultaneously. A local attacker risks his physical body. A local attacker can be embarrassed, physically harmed, or even killed. Insider and local motivated attackers are very real. Some organizations have to constantly deal with local attackers. But most organizations will go many years without seeing one. The organization is likely to have a good understanding of the probability of local threats. B. This finding indicates that we don't know. This is for findings that somehow aren't important. <laughs> the organization might be good or maybe they need to hire better pen testers. The A metric indicates that the organization is resilient to attack. The organization not only counters and mitigates threats, they apprehend the pen test team. This rating demonstrates that the organization tracks current threats and creates effective defenses before they are needed. They help others understand attack. They create and publish new defenses. They also have resilient infrastructure that resists major denial of service attack. And a organization tends to improve their own 
and everybody else's security. The next step in using pen tests to reduce the likelihood of successful attack might be step five. Request a countermeasure analysis for each finding. Pen test teams don't usually recommend countermeasures. A pen test team can add value to their work by reporting what countermeasures would reduce the reward of attack for each finding. The pen testers are the ones that are most able to understand and state what countermeasures would have deterred their pen test. Step six, request a cost-benefit analysis of each countermeasure. The pen testers that recommend countermeasures usually just list the countermeasures with no indication of their relative value. Most of the time they just link to the CIS critical security controls. A useful cost-benefit analysis of proposed countermeasures is worth gold to the defending security team. Step 7 create an implementation plan for improved security. It's easy to spend a lot of time, money, and resources without improving security. Adding random countermeasures to your existing situation usually creates more complexity and att more attack surface. If you've got important findings, that usually indicates deeper problems. Don't just address findings. If there are problems, you need to create and improve security design that supports the goals of your organization. Then you need to build consensus and support for the improved security design. Then you need to implement the improved security design. Then you need to verify the implementation. And then you need to continue to maintain the implementation. Finally, step eight. Reward your people when they improve. In our world, reducing attack is an extraordinary, unending task. Few groups create effective defense. Don't forget to reward your people for doing amazing things and positive rewards are the most effective way to improve a situation. In our world, security is a choice. If you choose to reduce successful attack, you have the option of having more effective pen tests. 